what's going on what's going on y'all it is your boy skywalker the jedi tapping in with y'all with another one y'all could be anywhere else in the world right now but you're here with us and we appreciate that much love to each and every single one of y'all out there man we got the homie stino with us today we about to recap this uh rebel moon part two the scar giver uh fan screening and uh the homie was in attendance so i thought it was only right Definitely. to Definitely. have him here with us thank you for being here bro uh how was the fan screening bro um did you have a good time well, first and foremost yeah no nah, man it was lit it was lit you know we are uh, anytime we we uh we get together we always gonna have a good time we always figure that out absolutely that's always easy but i mean vibes on point um Lots of great people in attendance. Um, obviously, the movie was incredible. You know what I mean? Uh, getting to hear Zach speak, incredible. Um, a lot of the other crew, like really, really key members, uh, we got to hear him speak, uh, which was incredible. Um, obviously, you can see that on, on the channel. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, man, it was it, it it was dope. I mean, the books we got, could not believe we got those right hey no no no. it was it was a great day great evening and um i'm just happy that we were a able to be in attendance for that and uh we're gonna get to it like we're gonna get to it we literally got books worth of lessons you know what i'm saying like multiple pages worth of lessons um love amazing entertainment obviously you know and some other stuff we'll talk about later absolutely absolutely right uh, uh, uh let's get through this little opening rigmarole as y'all know we're on the road to 2k make sure that you guys are liking the content sharing it out subscribing all that good stuff uh, hitting that notification bell lock so in lock know in when we going live you dig each and every single one of y'all that have been doing a job of that mm -hmm. so far ha has been doing a wonderful job and um you. shouts out to y'all and everybody that will be doing so going into the future we hope though that we can keep you guys entertained while bringing some dope content and conversations to you guys mm -hmm. right if y'all didn't know now you do these two hashtags is why we've been carrying on and making all this noise you know what i'm saying man <laughs> necessary necessary noise though absolutely absolutely hashtag sales esj of the netflix hashtag sales snyderverse to netflix uh man we've been making a lot more noise as of late and um it's been a great time to be doing so facts right up on the precipice of rebel moon part two being released we're not gonna like super go into details about the film um mm. but we just wanted to kind of uh give you guys an overall recap of the fan screening event right because it was super dope so no doubt no doubt no. we wouldn't make sure that we tap in uh if you would like to rock out with these hashtags and with this movement make sure that you guys uh, are following the rules of engagement <clears throat> which are as follows uh we ask that you guys be positive while using these hashtags um we are engaging with the current home of zach snyder netflix has been showing zach mad love hello right um if you can see these events that they've been putting on they've been magnificent they've been grand in stature so like they're definitely and rocking getting, out with him and getting bigger and better each time right so uh i really do want to make sure that we're reciprocating that energy with netflix and being positive while we're rocking out yeah and um also not mixing these hashtags as we're trying to keep the messaging as focused and effective as possible uh and we ask that finally you guys don't tag mention quote tweet or anything like that anybody over at wbd which is including but not limited to james gunn as man. long as you follow those three rules and you can rock out you know man you good at this <laughs> hey i've been saying the same thing for over a year bro like every stream so it really does become easier man that boy easier. that boy good what? <laughs> that boy is good <laughs> that boy good they don't even know that's from come on man right but um yo uh make sure that you guys are subscribed to zsjl to netflix on twitter and also following uh zsjl to 
Netflix on X slash Twitter, mm -hmm. uh, as all pertinent information will be coming from those platforms, as well as myself and Leon of the New Geeks. Shout out, Leon. Shout out, Leon. Shout out to Lieutenant Leon. You know what I'm okay. saying? Holding okay. it down in Gotham. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Holding it down. <laughs> Patrolling the streets of Gotham right yeah. now, right? For sure. Uh, and if you guys would like to sponsor a stream whenever you donate super chats uh they are tallied up and whoever gives the most will be sponsoring the following stream and you you will have your name streaming across the bottom like the homie a curly ray right now we want to make sure we're giving back to you guys in creative ways uh and also we offer a logo placement with a with a membership level as well so y'all can check that out but uh let's get caught up with the chat and then we'll get to the conversation you dig yes sir Oops, 2K bro to a hundred K says Mama Bear. Shouts out to Mama Bear Art. Right, Man, absolutely. you know she gonna run, she know she gonna run it up, right? Hey, she been here the whole time that we've been rocking out too. So Facts. much love, right? Man, y'all killing it in the chat. I mean, yo, way up to the top. We got the homie Castellos way in the building. What's going on, Phil? Mm -hmm. Uh he said, damn, Scott. I was I was about to go to bed. Hey, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, bro, but we had to get it in. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Emer yeah. Emergency pod type thing. Right. Emergency stream. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got the homie Sin Havoc in here as well. Future Tron. Much love, bro. South Cali guy. Hey, and go ahead and catch the replay, bro. It's all good. Much love. Thanks for stopping through. You dig? No doubt. Sam Havoc said that uh, Rebel Moon Part 2 was awesome this past weekend. Yeah, it, it was, man. That's a fact. That's right. a fact. We got the homie Bishop in the building. What's going on, Bishop? All right. Yeah. Nah, we in here. We in here. But uh, we going to tap in with the new guys real quick, and then we'll be right back with the first topic. Steppenwolf, have you begun the conquest? Yo, first thing, the first man, one iota events, man, bruh, like this was about my, I don't know, probably like my seventh or eighth time. Mm -hmm going to one of uh their things and um i know it was at least your second right yeah because we went to the um premiere for part one yeah, for but uh can you can you just talk about like how they put on these things man and how dope that they are to interact with and all that because um i've always felt like i've really enjoyed going to their stuff uh but how is it for you man like you know yeah, I mean, as as a newcomer to the one iota scene of events, like I, I honestly I had no idea what to expect. I'm just like, OK, you know, whether it's at Chinese theater or um, Egyptian or wherever else, somewhere in Los Angeles um, that they had these events at. Like, I don't really know the ex what to expect, but I'm like, OK, let's just let's just go and check it out. Every time I go, it's way more than what I what I would have thought we would be seeing at a screening. Right. Absolutely. Um the people are always super professional like we talked about in the very beginning the vibes always immaculate um we go in to see something zach related so we know it's gonna be fire <laughs> right yeah, yeah, yeah i mean uh and there I, is a certain quality level yeah. is that you know that you're gonna get right yeah 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 a hundred percent a hundred percent and then clearly with the with the netflix push clearly with them being behind it like it's it's not hard to see the direction they're trying to go with this right yeah. and then you can't miss the fact that this is a completely new ip right yeah new characters there's no there's no history with any of this right so this yeah. is something brand new um and it's fire absolutely and it's absolutely fire and one iota is dope i mean even speaking to some of the staff right like yeah. we did like speaking to the staff the social media manager he was he was cool super cool um, super informative. 
Um, everyone was willing to engage, put it, point, point us in the right place, put us in the right direction. Obviously, those blue wristbands were, you know, top tier. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We'll get to that in one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. most deaf, most deaf. Um, but no, man, e everything has been great so far with One Iota, and they've been going up, in my opinion. Um, the first one was not was no slouch, but in my opinion, this one was definitely a step up. Man, th yeah, this was super dope, man. Yeah. Um, they always put on great events. They always, like, are very timely, right? Mm -hmm. Every, everything moves fast. Everything's um, awesome. Everybody knows what's going on for the most part. Mm -hmm. They know exactly where all the lines are going to be at and all that stuff. Um, and just... <clears throat> I did want to take this moment to say, however, we got upgraded, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, shouts out to them because <laughs> hey, <laughs> that was crazy, bro. For real. That was wild. Like, yeah. I was not expecting that at all. Um, and, and we got way more videos coming for you guys. Um, the homie. Austin is in the speed force, you know what I'm saying? Cooking up. So major. Oh yeah. We do got a special video in the works for you guys. That is, is that will be kind of um showing a whole lot of what we recorded there. Mm -hmm. So uh yeah. yeah, definitely be on the lookout for that. But um, yeah, just man, overall, it was it was just a vibe, yo. Um I didn't notice this at first because we was all over in line and we couldn't move, right? Mm -hmm. um, but Dan Lin, the new head of Netflix film, was in the building, walking over mm -hmm. there with Deborah Snyder and Zack Snyder when they was walking over towards uh, the little photo booth part where we were at. Oh, uh, when we were still inside the bookstore. N uh, while we were in line. Right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Standing outside. Yes. Right, right, right. They had okay, the homie. Okay, okay. It was they had Dan Lee and Zach out there and all that stuff. It's like, man, yo, uh, this thing was man, the, the stars was out. You know what I'm I saying? Know, I, I'm not saying I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if he's pulled up to other movie premieres, other Netflix premieres. Um this the first one is he's the brand new head of Netflix a film. This is the first one that he's showing up at. And I was, I was trying. I was, I was trying to be great. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. You know what and, I mean. And what's also funny is that you had a lot of people saying that he hated Zack Snyder and he hates his fan base and stuff. And it's like, really? <laughs> <laughs> they just trying to get us to stop what we doing. You know what I'm saying? Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen Not gonna at happen. all. Right? But yo, I, I mean, to do. I got another. I got another <laughs> time. Right? But it was great. You know, and um, speaking of the uh, social media manager, right, I want to share this video that um, was put out earlier because this was uh, pretty cool to see, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, let's share it with the people and let you guys take a look at this video from One Iota. This is my most anticipated movie of the year. I'm a massive Zack Snyder fan, so I'm just thankful to be here amongst all the other Zack Snyder super fans. I went to the release party in New York. It was off the chain. <laughs> super excited to see the story continue and pick up from where it left off. I obviously want to see how the characters build. I left with huge cliffhanger at the first one, so super excited for that, not averse to the moon. If I wasn't just nice thing, I wouldn't have to do that. Because not only enjoy it here, but enjoy it over and over at home. You can also dedicate one television in your house. <laughs> so many people that are behind the scenes that never really get the credit, so I'd love to give them a round of applause. Yes. Yes. Love and the, the kind reception from you all has been amazing. And so without further ado. If you want to watch a movie. Yeah, let's watch a movie. Yeah. See, 
man, shouts out to one iota. Big you know what I'm saying? Big shout out big to one shout iota, out. man. Big we, shout out. We definitely appreciate the camera time, but even more than that, we appreciated the hospitality and the professionalism, the respect. Um and the event itself, man. That's 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 really what we appreciate it. But that would lead to, yeah. You know that was lit. That, that would lead to, you did. <laughs> yeah, we ain't gonna lie about that. Talk about it. Give me on that. Yeah. Um. And speaking of that, right? I want to move over into the whole, you know, the entire ambiance of the whole thing, right? Like Netflix, man. They are really investing in Zach, yo. They're really investing in his fan base, like. What other Netflix film gets this kind of treatment, bro? Mm -hmm. This is crazy. And you again, man, you cannot leave out. It's a brand new IP. That is so important. That's so key. That's so key. That's, Major key, right? That's like if you look in the music industry and you're like, yo, this person has this. We've never heard of this dude. We've never heard a song. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? His manager has brought out some good acts before, but this is the first time we're here for this dude. You know what? Let's put a big old bag behind him. <laughs> right, big old bag. Of money. Let's put a big old bag behind him. Let's stand behind him. Yeah. Right. Head of Netflix. We're gonna pull up. We're gonna stand behind right? him, and we're gonna be there. And <laughs> come, come on, man. Right. Smiling. Right? Having a good time. That's investment. Is is seeing how happy all the fans are? Yeah. That's investment. Right, and you only do that with something that you have that you feel positively about the ROI. Absolutely, you know what I mean. So, it it really does seem like a relationship is being built. Um, it seems like respect is in place, which is you know that's something I always yeah, talk about. Trust being gained, and the product is fire. Yeah, and with a brand new IP, based on what we've seen, right? If they can do this with a new IP then who knows what they can do with, with taking it a step further with something that's you know a known in our, commodity in our hearts and minds in our, <laughs> in our hearts and minds right you dig what i'm saying in the hearts and minds of many of people of many different generations mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right yeah you know what's crazy i was talking to my dad the other day and he was just asking me like like how do we get here mm. Right. And I I got to the Henry Cavill getting fired part. And he said, Why would they fire the greatest Superman? Like, yeah. like and I'm sitting there that's a, that's and a I'm great like, question. yo, like, bro, this is not just us in this Snyder bubble, you know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, because I've been your conduit to that, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. this whole time. And if you can recall those conversations before the Snyder Cut came out, you was even kind of um uh skeptical because of what you had seen, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it was to a point where I never argued because I was like, yo, you know, when you saw that Justice League or whatever, it's like, hey, that. <laughs> that would I mean look <laughs> I would have asked the same questions facts if the if we switched this over uh to Marvel facts right if we took this out of DCU and then took this over to the MCU and we said okay Iron Man 3 has come out we've already done an Avengers movie or so right we started to blend them put this universe yeah. together it's spicy right now spicy spicy we got the greatest actor to ever play yeah. this superhero yeah right we about to fight we about to we 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 getting we getting rid of the iron we getting rid of robert downey gotta go <laughs> right you like what and you replace robert downey jr with like damn who should i burn it's almost like who, <laughs> it's not like who should i burn i ain't gonna even burn nobody because you yeah. can't you can't yeah. there's no right yeah. answer yeah absolutely there's no right answer absolutely who do we, who do we want to see as Superman if not Henry Cavill? While he's ready in his time in his prime, right. like he is Superman right now. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely, man. So, Yo, so what, what 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 would we say if you was like if you said we was gonna get rid of Robert Downey? I'd be like, boy, boy, shut up. Right. Boy, <laughs> boy, boy, shut up. Right. 
No, like yeah. it, it just I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't believe you. Um yeah. But yeah, so yeah. to to Pops credit, I respect his skepticism because I was on this in the same boat to a certain degree, although I have no reason to think that you're not telling the truth. And once you got to breaking it down, like obviously it's nasty work, but I'm not yeah. I I it wasn't a wasn't privy not, to all that, right? right? And it's not outside the realm of possibility, and then bang, you see it play out and then yeah and then um i think that when you see like what this dude did with rebel moon man like and even just the scale and just the just the level of excitement before the film even starts um you know it just man it, it you can't mimic that right like yeah i mean if you compare it to another brand new ip i mean what are you gonna do what are you gonna compare it to yeah, you have to go back to his own movie. You have to go back to one of his other. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. What What are you going to compare it to? Yeah. Nah. Man, and so the ambiance there, um, is the buzz going into that film was amazing. It was a whole lot of people dressed to the nines. You know mm-hmm, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, people walk around in like, suits, dresses, gowns. You know what I'm saying? Like next was, time, next time we go, next time we'll do, we'll do it for y'all. Y- yo. Next and time we'll do it. What was crazy it's is in my city. It was casual. That was kind of my <laughs> fault too, right? Like it, it. it was kind of my fault because um, like I had been to a fan screening. Mm-hmm. I had been to a mm-hmm. couple fan screenings, mm-hmm. but this one felt different. Yeah, they that's what I mean. Like this one felt different. They turned up a little bit. It felt different, and yeah. and I, I was like, man. What was I thinking? This is a Zack Snyder fan screen. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, mm-hmm. why wouldn't it be mm-hmm. the same? Where you we know de- what I mean? Well, the next, well, the next one, we definitely going to come up. We definitely going to be dressed now. We, we won't be in a costume. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> but hey. but we're going to be dressed, though. Hey, I might be in a costume. You know yeah, well, shout, yeah. Out to, shout out to all my wrestlers out there. You never know. <laughs> hey. I'm saying twin. <laughs> hey, I got what you see. Yeah. I didn't even know. Yeah. See, because I popped out in the black Superman suit at full circle. I'm so, not on I'm not you know Superman. Saying, that's right? not a costume, that's a uniform. Hey, right? Hey, <laughs> that was my clothes. That, I was bored. Right. You know that's, that's, a, that's, a that's a crime fighter's uniform. I gotta take that off every morning to put on the stuff that you be comfortable seeing me in. Right. In fact, you know what I'm saying? But no, nah, look, the um the, the ambiance, the fan fervor, the excitement level, uh it, the stars was out, man. Once again, shouts out to the homie Josh yep. Herrera, man. Hey man, he was in the building, man. Bro was everywhere. He was looking out for us. Dude, he bringing dude. nuggets of information, right? man. Like, yo, man, that dude is the FBI this for us, man. <laughs> yo, he front line for and, us. Right? And what's crazy is is that uh we were supposed to be in line together, chilling and talking yeah, and stuff. Bro. But then we end up getting separated. Right. We saw him before we even, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I was in. just like, man, dude, like, you know, man, him and Brett Colbert, Brett's wife, mm-hmm. a man. Um, mm-hmm. Yo, it was mm-hmm. just, man. Don't do it, Brett. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, wait to the spoiler review, man. Don't do it, Brett. Because y'all don't understand. I was watching Rebel Moon Part 2, and I was hot at Brett. Love him. Love him, but Bruh, was hot. Chill. <laughs> chill. Chill. Love him, but was hot. Hey, man. Don't do it, dog. Bro, I, man. But chill. <laughs> chill. All right, cool. No, nah, chill. Um, yo, it was, it was a wonderful event, man, all around. And the, the ambiance was great. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh... We got Castello's way to homie cat uh the dummy field with the five dollar super chat saying Henry was just shouted as Superman in New York premiere of the Ministry of Ungentleman Ungentlemanly Warfare by fans. Second mm. time that happens, first was our was Argyle. Uh yo, right. Right. look, he is Superman, bro. Yeah. Bro, they after Black Adam. They announced this dude was back. He was literally walking around. Bruh, they was trying to make it seem like we didn't know what was going on. First of all, before that, he was walking around with a curl in his hair. 
Mm-hmm. I was yeah, like, yeah, being seen. Like, come on. I was like, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's not <laughs> right. Like, that's not why are you walking around with the Superman curl, bro? And then you know, hey, they said it, and it's like the excitement level was off the charts, man. Everybody was like galvanized and mm-hmm. like, man, they mm-hmm. had hope and was really looking forward to it. And when they fired that dude, it was the exact opposite. It's crazy. You can't. It's like. It's almost as if they fired it on purpose just to kill fired him on purpose to kill the universe. Bit facts. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Because what happens if you get rid of Robert Downey? And you yeah. can't replace him. Right. You know we're gonna hate it. And then you say that Robert Downey's gone. Yeah. And not coming back anymore. Yeah. Full full on announcement and just <laughs> drop it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey you guys, disappointment. Right. Don't come and made watch him movie. announce that he was back, then made him announce that hey, mm-hmm. I'm not actually back. Just some public form of disgrace. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yo, disgrace um, ritual vibes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yo, I I hope that he keeps getting the shout out uh as Superman, because you know what I'm saying? Do this, and I'm definitely gonna check that movie out as well. Because um, I can tell that this wasn't no Argyle situation where they were trying to yeah, nah. make you think that he was in the movie, bro. <laughs> and how and I was watching the trailer. I was like, bro, ain't no way that he in this movie like that. No. I was like, ain't no way. Yeah, he don't but, fit. <laughs> but this looks like um, he is definitely gonna be in, in it. So yeah, yeah, for sure. Because he's like starring in it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, um, we I mean, definitely dude, be here. It's just like think of how I felt. Think about how I felt about The Witcher, right? Right. I played the video games. Oh my god. I read the books. <laughs> I knew what was happening before it happened. I knew what was on right what was right with the story. It was off and whatever, what was written and what they just took straight from the from the original text. We never talked about you as like a witcher no fan way. watching that show though. No, we haven't. Bro, that show is so good. That show is so, so, so how good. do you feel knowing that he left that to be Superman and then they mm-hmm. Fired him as Superman, which means he never had to leave The Witcher. And I don't, and I think they already, re- I'm, if I'm not mistaken, they already replaced him. Oh yeah, no. With, Once uh, you leave, it's like a wrap. You know what I'm saying? But like, that's that happened. He I know, definitely it, left to go be Superman, and then they fired him as being Superman. So it was like, wow, <laughs> crazy how that happened, right? Yeah, bro. And if you watch everything. He is Geralt, bro. Yeah. He is. He just is. Yeah. He's he's exactly who the author thought of when he made the role. Yeah. He's exactly who the vi- he is the video game character. Yeah. If I pulled it up right now, he would be him. <laughs> that's just what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just he's he's just a, one of the rare people that's got two of them roles in one. You know what yeah. I mean? In one lifetime. Yeah. Man. And Man. and their and their full character roles too, which is crazy. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, right. And you know, and he's like, it's so weird how they're like totally different actors, but he's linked to Robert Downey Jr. again in this way that I feel like Robert Downey Jr. While there have been other great iterations of the character, he's my favorite Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So he, it's not the same as 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 um. As Geralt, right, and his Witcher and whatever his Witcher character, mm-hmm. um, but bruh, insane, nasty work, yeah, nah. nasty, 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 nasty stuff. Big Cavill fans over here, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, yo, um, I am gonna be checking out that movie for sure. Yeah, and, gotta do it, and soon. Um, since we're talking about all these kind of decisions from these executives. Yeah. Let's go ahead and um, <laughs> tap in with my boy, Count Dooku. You see this all the time at the level of a top producer who, between them or separately, will make flop after flop after flop after flop. I'm not going to name them, but I, I know who they are. And um, they're not all American either. And they still get paid huge sums of money for being in films that nobody wants to see. And producers make pictures out of which they take enormous sums of money. And the films, again, are not films people want to see. They're always going to blame somebody else. 
oh, it's not their fault. No, 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 you were the one who said, or whatever. And uh, there's a word for that. It's called upward failure. You see it all the time. See, you see it all the time. Upward failure. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> now, let's go on to the next topic, right? Uh, meeting Zack Snyder, right? Because <laughs> the homie, right? This was his first time being able to meet Zack Snyder, man. And it's a super yeah. dope um, to be able to, uh, you know what I'm saying, be there and to watch the homie be able to meet Zach. That was um that was super dope, bro. Uh so how was that for you? You know what I'm saying, King? You kind of talk about that. A oh little yeah. Bit? Oh yeah. No, I mean I think I this is my first time like meeting him formally. Um I got to listen to him speak up close in the same way um that we did this time um pre movie and then post. Um but he is probably the most down earth person I've come across personally in Hollywood. You know what I mean? And I live, I live here. I'm from here. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, as are you, we see, we see, we see this, we know, we know what we're looking at when we, when we see people from Hollywood in general, and I don't mean to generalize everyone. I'm not saying it's all of them, but you know, this business has a tendency to do so, do things to people. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? And I think that these, a lot of these people originally were, good people at some point and that doesn't mean that they're bad people but it just can it can change interaction and make for fan interaction sometimes be a labor but zach is super super down to earth um and you can just tell you can get that off of him you can see that in his wife i love how close him and his wife are and how they mob together the way I that agree. they do and if like one of them gets separated like one of them will wait and like i just i peep all of that and i think all of that is so g we yeah, talk, we talked about it when we saw yeah. it both times. Both times we saw it. I bar I, I said it both times. I was like, that is gangster the way they move around. Yeah, you know, nah. I mean? uh that was actually like not even yo, it's so funny that you say that because the first time that we saw them at full circle, Leon and I were talking about that too. How like um they were at like a signing table and they were on like like they literally had people in between them you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. at the signing table and um leon called her beautiful you know what i'm saying and you can see zach like look up and look, and like, look around hey boy <laughs> hey boy no. watch your mouth fool he looked up and would kind of look and was like you know what i'm saying like he was just checking out the situation and it was dope because it was like, man, like, Leo really watch got, out, like, bro. a little connection, you know what I'm saying? No, definitely, dude. For, definitely. For, for sure. But um, you can see it. You can see it just in the way that they move around. I agree. Just in the way that they move around. So despite the way they even interact with each other, but it's the way that they move around. I agree. The way that they watch for each other, wait right. for each other. Where it's boom, boom. We're separated for, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can see it, bro. Yeah, you see it. it's, it's lit for sure. Um, I don't think that you got a chance to see this. I never like really showed you. you know what I'm saying, but kind of got some of that on tape. So, drop it on me. You know what I'm drop it on me, man. <laughs> hey, hey, like I just had to get like a little snippet of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, cause nah, nah. that's just for the archives, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Fast, that's my first time meeting them, bro. So we gotta that's like just that for the art. Definitely, just for the archives, definitely right? gonna be the last for sure. Um, there we are. Hashtag failing upwards. You know what I'm saying? Flop after flop after flop, flop after flop. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, he was on one. You watched that whole interview. He was killing it. Flop after flop after flop after flop. flop, after flop. <laughs> it was like they got more egregious. Yeah, for real. It was like as the flops do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. As flops do. But um Richie Lopez said. 
did you get a poster or, or anything at the premiere sky um we we got something a little bit better than a poster mm. I, I, i'm gonna go in that go into that um in one second but we got a little bit something better than a poster when you say i mean i would say so if you could pick between what you got and like a poster what would you have picked I probably would have picked this over a hundred posters. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so too. Oh. I'd say so too. So yeah, we're gonna go into that in one second, All right? Got a copy of Rebel Moon Five. No, I'm just <laughs> yeah, got a copy of Rebel Moon Five, man. Oh my God, man, Rebel Moon, bro. Hey, so, I like that. I'm so sitting there thinking it. about that, but yeah. yeah. Look, man, just um, meeting Zach, like always, is an honor for me. And being able to ask him any kind of questions or, you know, just have an interaction with him, uh, I think is super dope. Uh, he is very accessible to his fan base, man. 100%. Um, you know, I've seen him at all these different things. Like, I've never seen another film director that puts himself in arm's reach of his fan base like this like look because my second favorite director is christopher nolan you know what i'm saying i love christopher nolan i i love all his films i you know you, you can't you're never gonna meet christopher <laughs> nolan. <laughs> right you're never gonna meet christopher nolan. <laughs> right in your life <laughs> right it's yeah. like and yeah. it ain't even no slight they're just not at all they're just totally, different kind of people totally, right totally different yeah. not better not worse just, just totally different. different just different just totally different kind of people right yeah. and so zach is really like a man of the people man like yeah, and i've been saying that you know and i'm just glad that my favorite director is somebody that you know his boots on the ground i can actually have conversations with shake their hand give them a fist you know he, he over there you know what i'm saying like all that right he felt like one of the twins activated your a in man. the power of steam <laughs> <laughs> right um mama bear says it will be interesting to see if zach remembers your name at the next event look i just need zach to remember this face id you know what i'm saying that's it got got a face card for facts got one got a face car got a sure. face car for sure <laughs> you know what i'm saying like, i have no face car <laughs> <laughs> gonna get one though. right what gonna get me <laughs> gonna get me a face car but yeah man like um it's just it's just super dope and i was talking to austin earlier and he was like yeah man you've been following zach around the country the last couple weeks and, and then i was like damn i kind of have you know what i'm saying but um yeah just being able to go to these events um you know it's like who does this mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying spike lee like you know what i'm saying like bro yeah, man I, you you the like the whole fandom has really got to give it up to you right you are boots on the ground from day one have been boots on the ground so to be honest it like we, when we when you really get words out of Zach's mouth, where are they coming from? You know what I'm saying? So the fandom owes you a debt of gratitude. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to be boots on the ground right with you. You know what I'm saying? Not for no clout, not for not for any gratitude, just one because it's lit. Let's not, <laughs> let's not, be, let's not let me not be a fool. It's lit. You know what I mean? But I'm I'm a part of the fandom as well. I'm here and then learning what's happening and seeing what's going on. Like I can't help but be a part of the movement. Um, yeah. And bro, I mean, look, you can be honest, right? How long have I been yapping about this Zack Snyder shit? Like so long. Like it's been so long. Forever. For like forever. Years. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. and I think that they kind of feel that, but no, I mean, he he will tell you it, it's been years ever since yeah. these films started coming out i mean out, you can I hear was... you can hear it when when him and his wife speak you know what i mean yeah when they talk about the journey and they talk about the fandom being around from the good times to the bad times and yeah. you know what i mean yeah and actually paying attention to what's happening like you know me i'm never i'm not 
as I've never been as big on social media as, as you, right? Mm -hmm. So to pay attention or to follow what's happening um, from that space, it's really me, just been me like judging from movie to movie and what am I getting from each yeah. director Thanks. and where they're taking the story based on the thousands of comic books I've read. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That like I've, I have remember these. I remember <laughs> yeah, what I remember yeah. what happened, but that's fine. We can switch it up, do whatever. But that's really been me and my judging point from like more of a movie critic standpoint Absolutely. and less of understanding the business, right? The business behind it, right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you but you know this, right? Yeah. I love the business aspect of things. Facts. I love the financial aspect of things. Facts. And it's easy to see. You can yeah. wear common goals aligned. You don't need a, to have a formal meeting about how to get what you want. You know Absolutely. what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And that's why I knew that you were going to transfer well over into this space, right? Mm -hmm. Because here's the thing. Because um, I was never really into like the business of movies mm -hmm. or whatever until they started fucking with my comic book movies. All right. That's right? something that we've always been passionate about, whether it's comic books or comic book movies. Right. And like we'll argue back learning, and forth. Yeah, right. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Because we're going to be doing some movie fights and all that. Batman, you know versus, Batman versus Iron Man is going to be a fight for the ages. I'm <laughs> talk about it right now. I don't want to hear a <laughs> single word. I right? don't, don't, don't. <laughs> but look, any motherfucker that can get beat with an EMP, bro, he can't, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, bro, but anyway. <laughs> you know that's not true, bro. You know he will not get beat with an EMP. How many times would Batman be dead if it was not for Alfred? <laughs> we don't need Alfred, bro. If good. anything, we need you out of the way. I'm going to teach you how to use my equipment. <laughs> Alfred built after this year. Alfred and Morgan Freeman. Stop it, bro. Hey, Alfred and Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> you better leave me alone. You better leave me oh alone. Oh, my God. You better anyway, stop. bro, look. Look, we ain't even about to get into all that. Facts. Anyway. Um, I try. Nah, man. Um, it's just, it was super dope. And uh, Rebel Moon 2, yo, as um, a fan of his, um, getting to see the love and passion that he has poured into his film, like, it really shows when you meet him. He's very passionate about this film. He, you can tell that this was a very very long journey for him and, mm. and that really comes across in these conversations when you see him in real life so right. and the length of time he's worked with the crew right yeah they've been on for like five years yeah man the way he does it this process we can go on and on about this but y'all see it in, if, if you go to the channel and look at the, the panel that was done um if you go to the channel, look at the panel was done, you'll see yeah. what he's how they explain so much. About I the I haven't put it up yet because there's some spoilers. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, so I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. But when it's spoiler, shouts Friday, out, you will see. yes, it, it it will be going up on Friday. Yeah. Be on the lookout for that. Mm -hmm. Uh that entire um Zack Snyder QA from the fan screen it will be going up on Friday. So amazing, bro. Amazing. It only gets better. Yes, yes. So, hey, I'm glad that the homie could meet Zack Snyder, right? And also, nice. um, let's move on to the whole. Because look, they were talking about posters, man. Like, mm. um, we well, lo love a good poster. Love a good poster, but got them all over the place. Love, N nah, y'all. Um, we got these uh rebel moon art books to talk about you know what i'm saying like because look um unbeknownst to us yeah especially me definitely me right <laughs> but unbeknownst to both of us um when our tickets got upgraded there was a special thing that came with that ticket mm -hmm. um it was access to that um is that little signing is that i just showed you guys that video of mm -hmm. um and yeah we got a rebel moon art book the big one that uh i was kind of showing on my live stream mm -hmm. when we were out in new york rocking out uh we got those signed from zach snyder and um Amazing. 
yeah, they were free. It was pretty crazy, <laughs> man. Right. Like it, 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 it was pretty crazy that we got those. Yeah, a signed book um, from Zack Snyder for free. And uh, shouts out to one iota. Shouts out, yo, to major, one iota. Major for shouts sure. out to one iota. And for then, sure. And another nugget about the books themselves: they're through the eyes of Zack. Absolutely right. No, you, these are you they're, they're feel... his they're his photos. So obviously, with him knowing the movie, knowing what he exactly what he wanted to see, the visuals he wanted to give um, throughout the film to capture those and stills directly with 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 the actors' um, scenes, set design, it killed it. Man, um, look. Killed it, man. Richie Lopez saying awesome. And then Josh says uh Sky and Stino were literally upgraded at the door. Of course, it would be <laughs> with uh meet and greet with Zach. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, Josh. Shout out to Josh. Shout out to Josh. Major. Shout out to Brett Colbert. Shout out to Kate. Yo, like, I mean, it nice. was everything was great. You know, I thought we was gonna be able to spend more time together. A hundred percent, bro. A hundred percent. But that was crazy. But yeah, um, we got the Rebel Moon art book, yo, and uh Thanks, shouts out to one iota. That was wild. They were they were amazing. That was wild. And what's really crazy is is that Steno figured out that we was getting the books before I did, right? Facts. Um, don't know how that happened. Wait, can you guys hear us? Hold on one second. Anti-life is found to sod, and we will stop at nothing to possess it. Ready the Armada? We will use the old ways. Oh, man, look, we 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 are approaching the man himself, Zack Snyder. Zack, yo, big huge fan, yo. If you can sign for me, and it would make my entire life, Zack. If you can sign the hashtags that I put out, sell ZSJL on Netflix and sell Snyder version. <laughs> yo. 
Hey, is he gonna? Uh, is he gonna do it? I don't know. I don't know. Yo. <laughs> oh my God. Ah yes, yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Zach. You're amazing, sir. Can't wait to be here tomorrow and to finish this whole thing out. Exciting. Yes, yes, yes. For sure. Yo. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? We're here going? Man, Zach Snow. Woo! What's in? You make it out to Skywalker, S-K-I-I, -I, please, sir. S-K-I-I. -I. Yes, Scott, yes. See what I'm saying? Hey. <laughs> Walker. Zach, is there any Skywalker. Oh, yes, sir. Is there anything that you felt like uh, you learned on Rebel Moon that you could take over to DC if Netflix gets the rights back, sir? Um, I think when you watch the uh, third act of this movie, you're going to be like, okay, well, if they can make something that crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we are here for it. Thank you, Zach. You, 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 you get best, sir. Can't wait for that director's cut. Yes, sir. Yeah, I can't please, wait for you please, please. Hey, we out, sir. Scott, you've said that on Netflix, for a $60 million movie to be considered a success, it has to generate about 30 million account views. What did you mean by that? And that's really the first time I've heard you say anything about Netflix success metrics. So what is the barometer for success on Netflix? You know, each film, like all of us, the P&Ls are different, right? So you're spending different marketing amounts, you're doing different things around it. Having been on both sides of the theatrical business and now the streaming, there's so much out there for the consumer that we're still fighting for time, right? And so we have our own tracking, we have our own anxiety, we have our own opening weekend. So we go through the same thing that everyone else does and really the same thing applies, which is great, is everything now, because there is too much choice for the consumer across all of our mediums. So we work through those things. But that's, that was kind of a rough estimate of different things take different marketing aspects. So everything is kind of different in terms. So what do you look at on Monday morning after a big film debuts on the surface? Well, like surface. everyone else, we have graphs all weekend long. So I'm getting things the same thing. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, all weekend. So you know what we're all watching personally? Yes, I do. I know exactly <laughs> where you're counting. We're going to talk about it <laughs> um, But the, the, we look at things in the, our totality. We value over a month, basically. So we look at 28 days in terms of it. And we can... Because we can see where things are opportunistic, we can market towards it, so we can market in the second and third weeks as well. So that's our valuation around those first 28 days in terms of how we green light. So we green light off of X money and how much we're going to spend, and we hope that this many people watch in that 28 days, and that's our success met metrics. Yo, 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 we are back. We are back. Sorry about that little um, commercial break. Right. Yeah, yeah. But we were talking about the art book, man, before we got kind of caught off guard. Um, that thing is a really high quality. Uh, it. Is very high quality like product, man. And um I was very shocked that we got one of those free. Oh, that's what I was saying. You was the one that figured out that we got it. Oh, yeah. That we we're gonna get it before I did. Well, I was right? on the hunt as yeah. soon as we walked in and 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 our guy from one iota um was like, Hey, we're at about you know 615. Once you stand right around here, I'm like, Where? Tell me exactly where. So that I can be first in line and we Absolutely. can get, you know what I mean? So Absolutely. I don't have to sit at the back of the line for this. I want to make sure that we write. And you were around getting B-roll, um, shooting the bookstore and whatever. Um, so I'm on the hunt. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I know my job. You know what I'm saying? I'm on blood, bloodhound mode. So I'm searching, looking everywhere, trying to make sure that uh, I can find exactly where we need to be. And as I'm looking, I see, you know, a little table, see some books signed next to it, see a marker sitting right there. I'm like, okay, something getting signed in here. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I figured that's where it's going to be. I'm like, is this where the line needs to be? Should I be standing right here? And I'm like, you know, one dude came and grabbed me, the dude who was who was hooking up, hooking us up again. Shout out to one iota. 
Shout out. Shout out for real. Major, bro. Same dude who was hooking us up, looking out for us all night. Um, I was like, hey, you, come here. Stand right here. Yeah. And I was like, all right, bet. Called you on the phone, got you on the on the bat phone, and was like, yo, get right, get here. Yep. You know what I mean? And then, you know, aside from the fact that the book is signed, um, when you when you get it and you really, really get your hands on it and really, really start taking a look at it, it's, it's, a, it's I almost it's didn't amazing. even want to believe you when you said that we was gonna be getting the books. Knew it. Knew it. Right? Knew it. Cause I was like, man. We're probably gonna have to buy one, and and I was and, sitting there like, "Yo, I'm gonna have him sign my ticket." Right, right. Now, what I say? Huh? What did I say? You was like, "He gonna sign the book, right?" I was like, "He gonna sign the book. He ain't signing that ticket." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Bro, I don't know." You hey, know look, and they usher they usher me out so quick, I can just try to to turn my shoulder to see what you see if you got see if you got right. Now I'm see if you remember this. Who knew that Zach was coming out? Who knew that the book was going to be getting signed by Zach? Who knew? I mean, they knew. Was it Josh? It definitely was. Yeah, Josh knew. Josh was like, and now that Nicky was like, now y'all in this line. Y'all can be with me. Hey, you finna get the book signed by Zach. And I was like, hey, hey, we don't know that, bro. We don't know that. Shouts out to Josh, man. Again. You know what Could I'm have saying? been a chick who played Cora, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, man. Hey, wait. We got Josh in the chat saying, I <laughs> saw the silver Sharpie, and I was like, it's going to be Zach again. <laughs> right? He gave it away, huh? For sure, right? For sure. We got Mama Bear saying they used to say Sky was never gonna get near Zach. Now he's getting upgraded to talk with him. Facts. That's literally what happened. Talk about yeah. It. Somebody was in a somebody was um moderating a Zack Snyder stream mm -hmm. for uh with some executives from AFSP. Somebody, and, right? <laughs> yeah, and you had um a moderator that was trolling us mm -hmm. and was i remember this and said yo this is as close as we're ever gonna get enjoy it you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> little little did they know hey, look, look. little did they Sorry. know you know what i'm saying <laughs> right like little did they know right like books bro several several seats several yeah have several have several <laughs> you know what i'm saying hey, but, guess what though good seats Great seats, really great seats. <laughs> great seats, right? No, um, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's, we've really come a long way, right? But um, yeah, that whole thing uh, with the art book, and I'm gonna give you guys um a little tease on what the book kind of looks like up close, mm. right? Because um, we will be um doing a book a breakdown of this book in detail on my channel you know what i'm saying so be on the lookout for that uh but go ahead and check this out real quick this brief little tease I just had to keep running that back, huh? Oh, 
I do know what's right. Mm-hmm. 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 Whenever you want. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, just don't worry. Say, he said, I'm going to give him a little bit of it just to warm him up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Don't even, don't even, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, yeah, they be sitting there, uh, thinking that this is a game you know what i'm saying so i just had to show that a couple times nah but look that book is immaculate and we're gonna be doing a whole breakdown uh very soon and i'm gonna i'm gonna be giving y'all a great look at it you know the whole Mm -hmm. black gloves and everything you know what i'm saying we we gonna give that thing the proper treatment that it deserves no doubt right for sure but um just moving on um you want to give your overall thoughts on the film and just the whole event as a whole man because we are gonna uh start getting towards the round out part of the uh stream but can you speak about your thoughts on the film just overall and um just how the whole event was in your eyes sir yeah well i mean like i said in the beginning Taking taking all those things, so I'm not repeating myself. In terms of the event, um, the event was beautiful. They've only gotten better. Um, obviously, getting to meet Zach was the highlight. Um, slash the film itself, which we'll get to. But the entire event was amazing, bro. Absolutely, every everything was amazing. One iota has been super dope with everything. Need them photos from the booth. Not going cap. Um, but, I agree. Uh, I agree. One one iota was 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 amazing. Super hospitable, um, and they they took care of Zach. Clearly, Netflix was in full force. Make no mistake, Netflix was in full force, um, which means a lot. I don't want to keep repeating this, but especially for a new IP, if you know yeah, what that means. Absolutely. Um, but the mo- and then getting on to the movie. Um, I love the first one, but this one this one is like this one is another step like noticeably yeah i agree you know what i mean I agree. um every all questions are answered you know what i mean um and a whole new set of them <laughs> are, are asked right <laughs> like <laughs> that need that need that need answers to them you know what i'm saying um the character development was on point um it was twists, turns, bro. Yeah, it was bro. stuff that I didn't see coming. Yeah, you know, great yeah. moments. People visually, yeah, visually, the visual effects artists on this one killed it. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, visual Absolutely. effects was 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 on point. Um, yeah, I mean, you really can't you really can't say enough about how hard they went on this film. Yeah, um, and yeah, I, I, I cannot wait for everybody else to see it. So we can actually start talking about it. Yeah. And I can get off the spoiler watch. Um, You know what I'm saying? Definitely looking to get off the spoiler watch. Major. Major. I can't wait for y'all to see it um, so we can have some discourse about it. As soon as it comes out, we got to watch it. You know what I'm saying? Obviously see it in theater, spam it when it comes out. But uh, we definitely got to watch it together. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Hopefully, you know, I'm still hoping. I'm still holding out hope that they do another light theater run. I think that there is some more time for them to announce that. You know what I'm saying? They did one for part one. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think that they could really a short one do well. Least. Yeah, I think so. Doing it for part two. Um, so good. I think that it's going to go over super well, man. Yeah, so go good. In major super well. Right. Yeah. Um, We got the homie Neo Sevens coming in late saying I'm – I'm late. What's up, everybody? What's good to the homie Neo Sevens? We appreciate you being here, bro. We got Sean Franklin getting in here as well. What's good? What's good? Neo Seven says this guy and Steno see Dan Lin. No, we were in line. Mm-hmm. We were just talking about that earlier. Mm-hmm. We were in line, and the guy literally told us like, "Don't move from that line." Yeah, hundred percent. He was like, "Yo, if y'all move, I'm gonna come looking for you." I, I was like, "Cool." You know what I'm saying? Like I'm posting. Right. So um when Dan Lynn and Zach and Debbie were walking in, uh, we were over standing in line for the meet and greet, and we really didn't want to lose our spots. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, that would it been was worth disastrous. it. Disastrous. It was worth it. You know what I'm saying? It was worth it to stay where we were. Absolutely, absolutely. We got Bill Reeve in the building. What's going on, Bill Reeve? We appreciate you being here. Anytime you're able to stop by, it's always appreciated. Thank you. Right. Got Sean Franklin in the building. Did you like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? If you're talking about the new one, I have not seen it. Actually, have not seen it. Uh, she says, "How's everyone been? Oh, we just been cooling over Vibe. here. You know, putting in work, breaking the internet, getting quotes from Zach, jet setting. Usual. You know what I'm saying." <laughs> the, you know the you I was about to say uh Rolex wearing, jet flying, you know what I'm saying? All that, you know. Kiss stealing. Woo! Right. Woo. Wheeling dealing. <laughs> we got Kyle L saying I'm on vacation. Time zone is different. Just salute to all. Yeah, this is a late stream anyway, but we had to get this in, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay. Uh, it shouts out to the 106 of y'all, actually 107 between Hello. YouTube and Twitter. You know what I'm saying? So, or X, should I say, right? Um, Twitter slash. Josh says, I, I sent Seal that Dan Lynn video. Saw Dan with Zach and Debbie when he came out. Oh, yeah, for sure. See, Josh be the MVP. I told man. you. Bro, I, bro, Josh, man. I told you. Front lines. Front lines pull up in the black van with the red stripe, right? For <laughs> sure, for real. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. And look, just closing out this whole topic about the event as a whole, man. Mm -hmm. Um, yo, shouts out to One Iota again. They put on fantastic events every single time, yep. and um, shouts out to Netflix for. Uh, really giving Zach and his fan base the chance to actually show out at these things mm -hmm. because in order for us to do these things, we have to be given an opportunity, right? And right. Um, when we were really dealing with other uh, companies, we kept asking for that opportunity and it was just like, oh, nah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we're just like, yo, you know, give us the opportunity to show you that, hey, we can make some numbers and make it be lit. You know, it's just like, nah, you know what I'm saying? But Netflix has really been doubling down right. on which, that. It was to, just to piggyback on that, which is makes it all the more important for us to be responsible with the fandom. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Because they, we have to make sure that Zach's films are, are put in good light and they can't give them any reason, you know what I mean? For them to do something foolish, like fire a lead actor from <laughs> of all time or something stupid like that absolutely you know what absolutely I mean? so absolutely being responsible with the fandom responsible in the space regardless of you know yeah whatever's going on the domi bishop says sky zach knows that you are an important part in his success with this fandom man look um i feel the love with zach as long as that you know because i have a great admiration for his work and i really respect what he does so um yo just anytime is that i'm able to pick his brain i'm just, just grateful to be able to do that you know what i'm saying right. that's really what it is i'm really a fan of his work and um the fact that he seems to be one of the more human people that i've met from hollywood mm -hmm. um it really makes it all that better you know Thanks. neil seven says uh, netflix showed a lot of love to Zach and Debbie, yeah, for sure, right? I mean, in LA and in New York, I was at both. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Boots on the ground. Oh yeah, nah, we about to get to that real soon. You know Boots, what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, we got Marcus saying the first 28 days are important for streaming Rebel Moon Two. This is the absolute facts. Uh, we knew that for part one, and it is no different for part two. So we will make this thing number one globally. And I think that, uh, yo, once y'all see this shit, like I was just about, I was just about to say, this movie is not gonna have any problem streaming, bro. Yeah. This is not yo. gonna have any issue streaming. This movie yo. is fire. For anybody that was confused by part one, you know what I'm saying, and saying, yo, 
I didn't get that much backstory. Right. If, you if, you thought in, if you thought in any way part one was slow, or if you thought like, man, I really wish that there was more action. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nah, it's about to go down. You know what we I'm saying? Have no issue. Yeah, nah. Um, None. Great. Great overall. Great event. Mm-hmm. Shouts out to, um, you know, one iota, Netflix, the Snyders, everybody that was there for the most part. Um, because we do have to touch on one little thing before we get out of here, as always. Um, and that is somebody, you know what I'm saying? And it wouldn't be, it would not, it would not be right without a somebody, right? For sure, there's right? always a somebody, yeah. I, I'm gonna get to the somebody in one second, yeah, yeah. Because I think that that's something that came afterwards, right? But um, I just wanted to kind of touch on this because um, I think that, you know, this needs to be said, right? Uh, we've been going to these events for some time, it, it, especially me, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Uh, ever since Full Circle and all these things and these screenings and premieres and stuff, right? So, um as all you guys know, right, um, ZSSM, Zack Snyder Cell Movement, uh, we've caught uh, we've caught a lot of flack from certain platforms and stuff like that, right? And, um, you know, when we're at these events, usually I like to just keep it on a, you know, hey, like, we don't have to acknowledge one another, right? You know, hey, but I see you there. I don't have to speak. Mm-hmm. You don't have to speak, right? We can just do our thing at uh, arm's length. Amicably. Amicably, right? I don't think that that's too much to ask, right? And that had been the case, you know, for the most part, mm-hmm. until recently, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> at this event, right? right? And I think that, you know, um, I have to kind of touch on these things because... Um, yo, like any attempts, you know, to like throw us off or try to like put us in a situation where we would embarrass ourselves or, you know, Mm -hmm. try to like get us to react, you know, um, it won't be tolerated, you know, like you guys were just wasting your time. Mm -hmm. Um, We're never going to put ourselves out there or have ourselves looking foolish at one of these events you know and i think that there's more than enough room for everybody to just operate in their own you know space right like you know we don't have to speak to one another right like nope at all nope you know for any for any reasons right like i normally don't know nothing about nothing y'all be talking (laughs) about anyway right you know i don't know nothing about what you're talking about yeah right like and um it was it was just a bit odd that at this one it felt a bit different right like we had a couple of situations mm-hmm. with a couple of different people you know that it was like man like you guys totally just didn't have to say anything to us mm-hmm. you know and we would have just continued on with our day you know what i'm saying but yeah we're never gonna get thrown off or you know um, react in any way that would be unbecoming of our character, right? So um, I just think that, you know, I did want to put it out there that, you know, hey, we can all just operate in our own little spaces and we don't have to try to, you know, make little snide comments or, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. you know, I, I mean, look, one of the situations you were even kind of Love involved it. right and, 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 and you know me right? and it's like yo like why why are we yeah why are we doing this right you know Weird. me you know me right i am a fan of confrontation <laughs> i really do enjoy it right right and it doesn't always have to be a physical confrontation that's not what i'm talking about but any sort of confrontation back and forth yeah a, a, a confrontation of ideas uh, um, a confrontation of personalities, a confrontation of ideals, right? More have have no problem with that, but all those things have to be done in good faith. Yeah, 
right? Right. In the absence of good faith, there are only like there are only bad intentions. Yeah. That was just kind of weird. Yeah. It was, it was, it was, that was weird, right? Yeah. But like yeah. if you oppy, mm. then just be oppy. <laughs> yeah. You know it, what I'm saying? It, it, but it, own that though. Yeah. You took like Man, we don't, weird. We don't trust. Weird you. behavior. We don't. You know we, we don't trust. You. We don't trust you. Yeah. Right. And we still don't. We never will. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> that's the next. I, that's <laughs> the next. If if Metro Futures drop, we never will. <laughs> right. Nah. I was just yeah. saying. Um. Nah. I, I would just really prefer if you know we can just continue to operate in good faith and you know hey like we don't have to mm-hmm. try to make comments towards people or you know try to say weird stuff and try to be vaguely threatening you know what i'm saying because mm-hmm. that happened as well and i'm like wow you know what i'm saying <laughs> like wow really interesting ah <laughs> interesting, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> you know but yeah crazy um, nah but crazy um and this is the last thing that I want to kind of touch on because mm-hmm. um, I, you know, coming out of this event, right, um, a little bit afterwards, we had a huge, huge uh, boon to our movement, right, when um, Ray Porter, Zack Snyder's very own uh, dark side, right, mm-hmm. tweeted out one of our hashtags, you know what I'm right. saying, pretty right. much had to go viral all over again you know what i'm saying it's trending all 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 over the place right so obviously um there were gonna be some you know videos that were gonna be made about that and of course and all that right so you know get your paper boo boo that isn't something that i was like averse to or like hey you know people can't talk about this you know is these kind of news right it's public but, knowledge yeah but um is, is there was one video that i saw that not only touched on um the uh the reporter tweet right mm-hmm. but also kind of added in the quote that i got from zach snyder out mm-hmm. in new york, new york. you know yep. and this platform knows exactly who I am and said, Hey, somebody interviewed Zack Snyder. And you know what I'm saying? And There's always a somebody. <laughs> somebody interviewed Zack Snyder. And this is what Zach said. Zach said he's ready to go. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, right? And the fact that, you know, we try our very hardest, right? To do these things for you guys i mean look you saw up close like i didn't you know i didn't plan to go to new york way way before right Mm -hmm. that was a Mm -hmm. spur that was a situation of the moment that was a spur of the moment thing right and we we make that happen fly cross country you know to go to this release party you know i'm saying turn around trip right out mm-hmm. there for a day right major. Major. <laughs> yeah no you know, two days traveling for one day there you know um and we do these things and people make content to that you know they're literally going to make money off of right mm-hmm. and they know who we are they know what we do um and when they've spoken about our campaign and stuff in the past they have no problems giving other people credit for stuff, mm-hmm. right? Other mm-hmm. people that don't even rock out and haven't even been involved with us for almost a year now, right? Mm-hmm. So they can get credit, you know, they can get their names shout out for stuff that has nothing to do with them, mm-hmm. right? And hasn't had anything to do with them for quite some time, right? But when but when we do these things, it's somebody interviewed Zack Snyder, right? I thought that was very interesting, right? Mm-hmm. Somebody. Anybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> do you think do you think that that was intentional? Do you oh, think that was absolutely. by design? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Right? 
because look, you know, there's been other people, right, that have been covering what we've been doing. Sure. The homies, uh, Sale and Zod. I saw videos from both of them recently, right, where they both, you know, um, had no problem saying, "Hey, this is Sky and Leon." You know, hey, cool table, mm -hmm. right? They had no problem saying that, you know. But certain platforms, you know, just it's it's somebody. <laughs> You know, like mm -hmm. somebody flew all the way out to New York. Somebody, <laughs> somebody <laughs> right? had to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Somebody right? had to. Yeah. <laughs> Wild, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I I can guarantee that that's somebody that made this comment. Because look, part of me, like I'm gonna be very honest with mm -hmm. all you guys. Um. I was gonna, you know, do one of my normal streams and, you know, put the logo and the face and the thumbnail and all that stuff. And do, but then I was like, nah, nah, I'm not even gonna give it any more thought than this one segment because uh, I just did have to like kind of let you guys know like how these things are, uh, like how they hit us, how disrespectful that these things can come across. Right, because I'm just trying to figure out, like, you know, what we have to do to get, you know, what I'm saying, some hey, like, this is them, right? Like, what hey, is look, it? hey, look, I'm gonna be honest, they, I, they're necessary, yeah, I feel it, you know what I mean, yeah, they're necessary, like, uh, every fish tank I've ever had has needed a catfish. <laughs> it's, it's needed somebody just stuck to the wall on the side, just cleaning off the pond scum. <laughs> tell me I'm lying. Tell me pops go get the big fish tank. <laughs> we put the fish in there. It's always a couple, always a couple pond scum, pond scum suckers. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Down there just. <laughs> Sucking off the side of the glass, just waiting for little Crazy. Mors morsels to, to waiting fall late, down. Waiting for little top. morsels. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Waiting on little morsels to fall from from up top, so they can eat. Yeah, the information that we bring is cool. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But oh, it's 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 food. Yeah, it's it, sustenance. It's it's how we eat, right? Like mm -hmm. we're literally getting paid off. Of making videos mm -hmm. off this information <laughs> right hey, in all in all actuality bro you know what it is it's a thin line between love and hate you love you love my dog <laughs> way more than you hate my dog you love him crazy you can say it <laughs> yo you can just, say it hey man just you say it in private, just say it in public. <laughs> what you mean? Right. We'll forgive you. Hey, I'm we'll just, be right here, bro. Hey, I'm just saying, man, like when I heard that, when I heard that somebody went to New York and somebody asked Zack Snyder. Knowing how much that ticket costs. <laughs> <laughs> you talking right. about knowing no yo, they don't even know. They don't even know, man. Throwing up on a plane. Y'all don't know no. what I had to do. Like, they have no clue, bro. And to sit there and while we doing this. Somebody. To hear the malfeasance. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just it's, malfeasance it's, for, for malfeasance's malfeasance. sake. That's it. <laughs> Facts, like crazy. There's no need. Crazy. There's no need. Somebody. There's no need. Somebody went and got on that plane, bro. There's no somebody, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. look, um, when these things happen, yo, I just we just gonna do what we always do. We we call out the behavior and, and then we keep going forward, right? Because it ain't no reason to really stop anything that we're doing mm -hmm. or like change any tactics. Mm -hmm. You ain't gonna take right? the catfish out the fish tank. Yeah, right. You ain't gonna take them out the fish tank. Hey, I really did like that pond scum. Analogy. Who gonna clean the wall? <laughs> facts. Who gonna clean that little green ridge in between the rocks and the glass right there? Somebody. 
<laughs> Somebody gonna clean. Yeah, it. Hoover vacuum. It ain't gonna be me. It ain't gonna be me. <laughs> it ain't gonna be me. That's what they for. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you here, ain't you? <laughs> now suck. <laughs> nah, it's crazy, man. Look, we about to close this thing on out, man. I want to thank y'all for being here. You know what I'm saying? I just, I, I had to talk about that, man. Yeah, as you should. Somebody. Man, go and get off the chest, <laughs> you know what I'm, saying? I'm with you. I'm with you. Hey, you know I'm down to cook. It was either this or summer jam screen. Yeah, bro. And you this, know what I'm and saying? This, and this is not even this is not even cooking. Like facts. This is ramen. Facts. This is old, this, <laughs> this is, is oatmeal. This is instant noodles. Instant noodles. Instant. instant oatmeal. Yeah. Like cup of noodles. Not even the one you take out the package and put in the whoop and rip the little paper off of. This is instant noodles that type vibe. That was wild. Yeah. Man, look, I'm loving it though. I'm loving it because we know what's up on the other end of the spectrum. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, if it get too egregious, you know I'm a hibachi type dude. Yeah. I like to cook a whole, I like to cook a lot of stuff all at once. I got <laughs> cooking over here. I got it cooking right here. I'm cooking in the middle. I got tricks going on. Come on, man. Right. So be respectful. Be nice. Yeah. This- I just got here. It just be che- yeah, like yo, that was wild. That I was ju- wild. I just got here for Stino to have just gotten in in this whole thing, and for somebody to walk up and be and, and got the nerve to say something to you. Got got you. That was wild. You you that was you. Wild. And look, you you already, <laughs> buddy buddy already, <laughs> buddy already, buddy man. Just be buddy, buddy. Be who? Somebody. <laughs> Yo, I, 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 <laughs> somebody. Anybody. Somebody is great. Bro, anybody. <laughs> it could have been anybody, bro. Yeah, for real. A- bro, anybody was asking Zach that question. 100%, bro. bro. You know what's crazy? If, like, Vanity Fair is talking to Zach Snyder, they say, oh, Vanity Fair yeah, asks. going to cite the hell out of yeah, Vanity Fair. Vanity Fair asks. Definitely. Hollywood reporter, oh, they ho- yeah, if I was one of these other content creators, I'd say, "Oh, yeah, they cite it immediately." Before we get out of here, wh- what is it? What do you think that the oh, real differentiation is between this? I don't want to. I know. I know. I know you're ready to get, but I, I do oh, want no, you no, to. No. I do want you Great to. Question. I do want to know what you think about this, right? Because obviously, you no matter anything that's happening to anybody, you obviously have your ideas in terms of what's happening. You've had your interactions. Absolutely. So, what what do you think is it is? Why not you? Here's the thing, right? I used to think, because, you know, me, I mean, look, I'm not no, you know what I'm saying, uh, crybaby dude. You know what Mm -hmm, I'm saying? mm -hmm. Like, I don't just run to certain things that may be easily, or I don't run to certain defenses that may be easy for me to run to. Mm -hmm. Right? Sure. sure, sure. You know, but then you start to notice stuff when you look at who gets treated like this? Mm. You know, and you'd be like, oh man, it'd be me, Leon, Sil. Now you, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm like, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, what? What do we all have in common? You know what I'm saying? Because, because like temperament wise, we're all different. Definitely. All different. Definitely. I'm a fool. Hundred percent. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? But temperament wise. We're all different, but like, you know, it's like, man, if you don't like us in all these different shapes, sizes, fonts, styles, you know what I'm saying? All that. Even even in platform, right? Right? Yeah. YouTube, you don't like on X. <laughs> you don't like in person. Right? Yeah. Nothing. It's funny stuff in person, right? Like, you know. Real funny in person. Real funny in person, but then not only just that, but but then you get the somebody's, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who wasn't even there, but then, but where you park at? <sighs> Look, you know, we we about no, to get on. What do you on. think the reason? <laughs> no, nah, well, we know the reason. Hey, I ain't gonna make right. you go hard, bro. He, you he know, said, we, uh, you know, buddy is worried. You know what I'm saying? Man, Shit Havoc said, "Welcome to the trenches, Tino." Man, you know I'm, with I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Synapse says, 
just just remember that, that is that you stole a question with an invisible mic and infiltrated a charity. <laughs> but they literally said that, <laughs> bro. They said I stole a question mm-hmm. at full circle. Yeah, what does that mean? When they literally they said that I didn't really get picked, and I stood up when I shouldn't have, even though. It's on film that they were calling me. Like they literally won himself. Black Superman. Ray Fisher said Black Superman. Who was that? Right. Who? The black guy in the Superman, Superman costume. <laughs> <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, no, it was like Sky stole the question. They said that I cornered Zack Snyder, bro. They said that, you know, we were just acting a fool. You know what's so funny? And you know what's I was so like, funny? Yo, like when I saw y'all interacting. You were like the first person that he was like, hey, hey and smiled with it was like right? geek geek to talk to. So I think I think I think that might be, you know, I think that might be a misconception. Crazy. I think somebody might be confused. Crazy. I think there might be a little bit of confusion happening. But it's like, why? Why us? What's different? Too handsome? I don't know. Is it? Is it the energy? Is it I'm energy? just throwing stuff out there. Maybe. Mm. Right. It said no man babies here, right? <laughs> Osa Fresh says first it was some black guy, now it's just somebody. Somebody. Yes. It's just somebody. Yeah, somebody interviewed Zach. They Snyder. hit somebody with a some black guy? Yes. Was that you too? No, nah, that was Sue. They were they were making a statement about him and Mikey's show, and it said Mikey and some black guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Has anybody ever seen that person in person? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Neo7 says, the path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the ine- by the inequities of the selfish mm, and mm, the tyranny of mm, evil men. Ezekiel, Ezekiel 25, 25 17. 17. <laughs> Good Lord. Ah. Woo. Hey, yo. Hey, From the mouth hey, of my grandfather. Yeah. <laughs> Darkness cannot swallow light. He said, you better say that, Neo. Right? It says the only way. Bishop in here showing love. Looking out, Bishop. Right? We got Marcus with the five dollar super chat saying Sky stole a question that they were never gonna ask. Facts. <laughs> no, that was the problem. The problem was the question that I asked them. See, bro, because going into full circle, the narrative on on on, on all the you know, the scoopers and the insiders was that Zach was going to say he was done with DC. Right? So, you could feel it, bro. Like, people were scared to ask the question. You know? Nobody wanted to ask. Nobody was bringing it up. It was all, you know, it was by three, by day three, nobody had asked. But, that's why they picked me. Because they knew I was going to ask. Bruh, I had been asking Shouts Zach. Shouts to Ray Fish. Bruh, I had been asking Zach about sale the entire time that I was there. <laughs> like every time, I, every time I saw this dude, it was a different question. And then leading up on day three, it was like, <laughs> As in, hey, he's our guy. Ask it. And I'm like, hey, go ahead. But yes, that was the problem. It was the question that I asked him. I was never supposed to ask him that question. Mm-hmm. And it was never supposed to get out that he still wanted A to work on DC. It, mm-hmm. it was supposed to be a fair world tour. And uh, we kind of put a halt on that narrative in a very, very big way. Mm-hmm. See, bro, we've been out here destroying narratives, bro. Good like from multi billion dollar corporations. That's why they mad. Imagine, right? Little old you. Little old you, right? <laughs> no. Imagine being the head of the company and you're trying to promote your product. You know what I'm saying? And I there's called just y'all a long time ago. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> right. right? But a nah, long time ago. Nah, ego. A long time ago. You know what I'm saying? I'm I mean... like, hey, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what do you guys actually want? <laughs> How many of you are there? <laughs> okay, okay. We'll How that. are you able to outtrend our Entire marketing department. Mm-hmm. Why? Why fight with the customer about what they want? Crazy. Why is that? Crazy, right? But yeah, man. Um, we can get into that another time, oh, yeah. right? Whether that's uh, mo- movie messaging, um, you know. 
oh, whatever yeah. else, strategic political narrative <laughs> and what have you. We're going to definitely get to that. But, uh, when interests converge. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hit you You with do this. not need a formal conspiracy. <laughs> These people go to the same country clubs. They run the same fraternities. <laughs> shout out to George Carlin. <laughs> His facts. Hey, listen, man. I ain't going to finish the quote, but shout out to George. Let me hit y'all with this drop real quick. Please. Real quick. <laughs> shout out, shout out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to ask you not about the legalities or like the probabilities or anything like that, but can you just speak to the resolve of your fan base that uh, now that we're trying to get this thing sold to the third Look, party? The fan base has consistently been amazing and consistently look, regardless of what I think, the fan base has their own ideas and they, they seem to win. Hey, hey. Shouts to the fan base. Right, for sure. Um, the Sinev said, winners don't allow losers to dictate and write history. Mm-hmm. Hey. Cat. Because just imagine if they did get the right history. Mm-hmm. That'd be crazy. You can't allow somebody that's on the juice. <laughs> to come into the weight room with real people that put in real work. Right. Osa Fresh says uh Sky was the first to bring it up and it pissed the, the old guard off. Facts. Facts, yo. He said the old guard should have stayed retired. Marcus made him real mad with that one. And shouts out to the 118 watching across uh YouTube and uh X, right? He also said Sky and company are the leaders of the new school. Yeah, man, it shouts out to y'all, bro, because y'all been rocking out since the very beginning. And that's the only way that any of this matters, yo. Like, I have said this from the very jump. Um, if I would have had that idea and nobody rocked out with it, nobody would have supported it. Like, there is no, there's none of this. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's none of this, right? 100%. Like, we're literally not even here talking with you guys. Uh, we literally was only trying to push this thing forward because of the things that we've been doing mm-hmm. um, with all of you guys. So um, that's what this whole thing has been for. We've been trying to push this content further and further and get it better and better. Um, and we're going to keep doing that into the future. So that's a fact for sure. Um, we, we are about to close this thing on out. So any finishing words before we get on out of here, Brody? Uh, yeah, be on the lookout for more content. Be on the lookout for more consistency. Be on the lookout for seeing more of this face, hearing more of this voice. You already been listening to this dude, but be on the lookout for more of that. Um, yeah, man, we really, really plan to be as consistent as possible, um, to work as hard as possible, to upgrade the content as much as possible, to be as fresh as we can. Um, and yeah, bro, the the space that we're in needs fresh takes it needs honest people it needs um an actual pulse on the fandom and a place in which the real fandom not the bot fans not plants not people that studios have put in place to drive narratives and make you think that this movie was good or that movie was good or it's this director and we move in this actor and that we need all transparency as much as possible um, and a place where the fandom can actually speak. And in, these, and in that way, we can get what we're actually looking for, get directors in place who are actually here to push narratives that are what in, in line with the fandom. Give movies that are in line with what the fandom wants to see. Totally agree, man. Couldn't yeah, have said it better myself, deal. bro. Uh, we appreciate y'all, man. Like, I ain't got much more to say after that. Uh, be on the lookout for all the content that we got coming soon for you guys in terms of like the Rebel Moon art book look. Uh, we got uh, all types of streams. We're going to be doing watch alongs for Rebel Moon part one and two um, coming up. Uh, lots of things. Um, I got a, everything that you need to know about Rebel Moon part two. The Scar Giver coming that I'm working on right now so all this stuff should be dropping this week uh and yo we just gonna be here trying to get you guys activated you know what i'm saying and uh and really trying to push this thing forward so 
I appreciate y'all rocking out with us, and uh, we're going to catch y'all next time. Peace. Peace, y'all. I got two T's with me. Smashing chains and burning tattoos. <laughs> <laughs>